Salatul Istisqa or the Salah observed when seeking rain. When there is a drought and there is not much rain and the springs and wells become dry, Allah stipulated for the Muslims to pray a prayer in which they ask Him to send rain to them as a mercy from Him. It is an emphatic sunnah due to the hadith of Abdullah ibn Zayd, may Allah be pleased with him, who said, The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, went to the praying ground to seek rain. He faced the qibla, turned his cloak inside out, and prayed to raka'at. It is sunnah for the prayer to be preceded with preaching and reminding the people with that which softens their hearts, like talking about repentance from sins and avoiding any ill-gotten properties by returning them to their rightful owners. This is because sin is the cause of scarcity of rain. But repentance, seeking forgiveness, and piety are causes of acceptance of one's prayers and the receiving of Allah's favors and blessings. He should also urge them to give charity, as that is also a cause of mercy. It is also a sunnah to observe the prayer on the praying ground and not inside a mosque, in accordance with the Prophet's manner, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. And the Muslims pray it as a two raka'at prayer with neither the adhan nor the iqamah. The person observing this salah says the takbir seven times in the first raka'ah after the initiating takbir. In the second raka'ah, he says five takbirs apart from the one he says while standing up from prostration. He raises his hands with each takbir, praises Allah and extols him. He also seeks blessings upon the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, between each takbir. After the salah, the Imam delivers a single sermon in which he seeks a great deal of forgiveness and recites Qur'an much. Thereafter, he supplicates, saying many of the authentic supplications of the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, with insistence, showing humility, helplessness, and demonstrating how powerless he is in front of Allah Almighty, raising his hands up even higher than he normally does in other supplications. The Imam faces the Qibla, turns his cloak, inside out, placing what is on the right on the left, and that on the left on the right, while he continues to supplicate to Allah. A specific day should be set aside for going out for Salatul Istisqa, so that people can prepare for it. One should leave to go to the prayer in a state of humility, submissiveness, servitude, and subservience, while making one's need for Allah clear. This is why it is not permissible to beautify oneself or go out perfumed. We have Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, saying, while describing the manner in which the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, used to go to seek rain. Indeed, the Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, went out wearing modest clothes in a humble and lowly manner until he arrived at the praying ground. So if Allah answers the prayer, due to the imploring of the Muslims, and sends rain, it is recommended to stand in the rain when it first starts raining, and allow it to touch one's body. As was done by the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, as Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated, Rainfall befell us while we were with the Messenger of Allah. Then the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, spread his clothes until they were wet from the rain. Thereafter we asked, O Messenger of Allah, why did you do this? He said, because it, meaning the rain, just departed from its Lord, the Most High.